talk about for our October roundtable call is brand tailored uh, promotions. So this is a relatively new feature. It came out towards the end of summer. Um, and ever since then, honestly, it's gotten a lot of new audiences, which is really, really cool. So I know looking at everybody here on this call, then obviously we've got people that are gonna be watching later. There's a lot of you guys that are in different parts of your journey on Amazon. Some of you guys are just getting started out. Others, you know, you guys have been doing this a long time. You've, you've been on Amazon a while. So because of that, all of your brand tailored promotions are going to look very different because basically what it's doing is it's taking your guys' current audience options and it's showing you what you have available, okay? So what are brand tailored promotions? I know we've covered this a few times either in one-on-one -on -one coaching or in past group discussions. So I'll just go ahead and just circle back to it just because I do think it's worth covering. So basically what brand tailored promotions are is it's a new promotion type that allows you to reach out to different audiences that have visited your listing and send those specific audiences tailored discounts and offers. Now, the whole purpose of this is to either get people back that have purchased and maybe haven't purchased from you in a bit, or people that did not purchase, did not pull the trigger and purchase from you. So this is a really powerful tool because ultimately what it's going to do is help all of you guys build brand loyalty with your Amazon customers, which can always be a little challenging, right? Since you guys don't have that direct contact that you would have with them if you were selling through your website or what have you. So like I said, basically, it's just gonna be a specific promotion that goes directly to those customers. It's not going to be live on your listing or anything like that basically just a direct direct promotion there now as of today October 18th 2023 you cannot control what products these customers use these brand tailored promotions on okay I'm I based on the back end like if you guys were to go in right now go create a brand tailored promotion you'll see that it looks like eventually there's going to be a drop down that allows you to pick products but for right now, it's all products. So whenever you send out a 10% promotion to these audiences, it's going, to all, it's going to all your products. So that's something you guys should just keep in mind. And then it also just shows that it's important for you guys to have promotional calendars. So that way you can make sure you're not overlapping. Because if you've got a 10% coupon clipping on your listing, the 10% from brand tailored promotions will also apply. So that's why you just wanna make sure you're keeping track of these things and applying them accordingly. So the focus of our discussion today is actually around the different audiences that Amazon has for you guys as an option. Now, the new requirement for audience sizes on brand tailored promotions is you must have a thousand people within that audience used to be a hundred which was kind of what they launched with on Amazon but now it's a thousand so for those of you guys that maybe you go to brand tailored promotions which these are located in the advertising tab in seller central if you guys go over there and you see that maybe you've got like 900 or something like that that means you're close to being able to use this feature so you know with PPC and different things like that you guys should be able to have it's in seller central under advertising okay so here are the different audiences. We've got at-risk customers. So these are customers who haven't purchased from you recently or frequently with varied spend. At-risk customers can be engaged through discounts and promotions. Brand cart abandoners, that's pretty simple. Those are people that have left your product in their cart. We've got brand followers. These are people that follow your brand, um, your storefront. We have high spend customers. These are people that have spent 5% of the sampling of the brand's highest spend, potential new customers. These are people that have visited your store, your listing in the last 90 days, but have not purchased. Promising are customers who've purchased recently, buy occasionally and spend above average. So you're just trying to convert them into a loyal customer. 
recent is people that have bought in the last 12 months repeat pretty straightforward there people that have purchased from you guys multiple times and then there are customers that are top tier who, re who purchased recently and spend the most so those are the different audiences now when we first launched this feature there was not this many audiences which is why we decided to have a whole presentation on this tool just because it has expanded quite a bit, okay? So each audience is obviously very different, right? They've got different customers, they're at a very different part of the buying process. So all of you guys on this call are probably wondering, you know, when should you engage with which customers and all of that good stuff. So here is kind of something I want you guys to consider. So if you guys have repeat purchase products, guys are supplements, if you're a consumable, if you're in the beauty space, whatever that might be, repeat customers are a really good one for you guys to send uh, brand tailored promotions to. Brand followers are really awesome to send them to. High spend customers and then of course recent customers. Those are all really great options for those of you guys that are repeat purchase uh, products. Now, for those of you guys that might be more of a premium product, maybe you guys have a higher spend product or whatever it might be, or maybe even you're a product that isn't necessarily essential, but it's one of those things that someone might splurge on or what have you. So brand cart abandoners are a really great one for you guys to target. Potential new customers are a good one for you guys to target. Um, those are ones that I would focus on there. Now, obviously, we've got big shopping days coming up. We just concluded the big, big deal day last week with Amazon, which was basically kind of their fall quarter four prime day. So this would be a good time to revisit these audiences if you guys have, haven't gone back to this page and check out, have those audiences increased. Um, potentially your brand card abandoners should be higher and then also potential new customers because if they didn't add the product to your cart the idea is that you should have had higher traffic to your listing and your storefront during those days so those would be really great to run potentially till the end until the 23rd the only reason I'm saying October 23rd is because if you guys run any promotions starting October 24th that then is the 30 day mark for Black Friday, which could cause issues for your Black Friday promotion. So that's why we kind of say the only promotion you guys should be running between October 24th and November 24th would be coupon clippings. No other promotional type should be run during these times because it does affect your Black Friday promotion. Now, all that being said, once Black Friday and Cyber Monday have concluded, these are fair game, you can run these. So our recommendation is brand card abandoners and potential new customers should be targeted right after Cyber Monday concludes. This is when your audiences should be at their peak. We want to get these customers back. Uh, we also think that it would be good to target high spend customers, top tier repeat customers and brand followers leading up to the actual holidays. So that would probably be around second week of December really trying to target people, trying to get them to purchase your product as a gift. Now, my recommendation is you've got to be using this tool consistently. And the only reason why is the only way for you to figure out which audience works best for your brand is we need to test it. And we also need to be revisiting them to some degree because the audience is like we're seeing here in this screenshot should continue to go up they should continue to increase. So as they increase, they are worth revisiting, okay? So for those of you guys that maybe are on this call or you're listening to it back or whatever, I want you guys to keep in mind that your, your audience sizes are not set in stone. These are going to continue to increase. So you want to make sure you continue to revisit them, try to run them and get them set up. So for brand tailored Promotion. Like I said, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, right after that, that's when I would go ahead and push this out. If you guys are able to create one and have it completed by October 23rd, go for it. But if not, hold off until Black Friday and Cyber Monday. 
So as far as brand tailored promotions go, that's all we've got for you guys. If you have any questions, you can always go ahead and ask your coach specifically one-on-one. -on -one. And, you know, if, if there's anything specific where you're just like, yeah, like, is this one going to be a good one for me or whatever, you guys can absolutely do that, okay?